Hi everyone, happy Children's Book Week. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of our brand new picture books we're adding to the collection. So our picture books are in a few different subcategories in the library. We have counting books, alphabet books, board books, small picture books that would get lost if we put them with the big ones, and then our general just picture books of every shape and size category. So today, all of the books I'm sharing are just in that general category, and hopefully you are able to find one or two that you absolutely have to read as soon as you can get your hands on them. Um, hope you enjoy. The first book I want to share with you today is called Bike and Trike, and it's by Elizabeth Verdick. So, Toy Story meets Cars in this sweet and relatable story that explores universal themes of friendship and growing up. Look out world, there's a shiny new bike in town. But what does that mean for rusty old trike? Trike is a rusty little fellow, a trusty little fellow, on three worn down wheels. Now that Lulu has outgrown him, he's lonely in the garage. But then a newcomer shows up. He's shiny and big and has four wheels. It's bike, gulp. Trike worries that bike won't know how to take care of Lulu. Bike won't listen and challenges Trike to a race. It's on, but who will win? Everyone outgrows things, especially in those early years when growth is so rapid. Have you ever wondered how our outgrown toys feel? Trike is sad when he realizes that he's being replaced, just as many of us are sad when we need to replace things we've outgrown. But there's also that excitement that comes with something new. Bike and Trike have to figure out how to make the best of the situation being stored in the garage together. This is a fun book for any child that is ready to make the transition to a bicycle, or any child that already has their big kid bicycle. It's sure to be a summertime favorite. The next book I want to share is called Vamos! Let's Go Eat by Raul III. Little Lobo returns to share his love of food and wrestling. Little Lobo is excited to take in a show with wrestling star El Toro in his bustling border town. After getting lunch orders from the bowl and his friends to help prepare for the event, Little Lobo takes readers on a tour of food trucks that sell his favorite foods, like quesadillas with red peppers and Mexican Korean tacos. Peppered with Latin American Spanish vocabulary, this glorious celebration of food is sure to leave every reader hungry for lunch. If you're a fan of Richard Scarry and Where's Waldo, check out this book. The illustrations are full of so many things to explore and enjoy, you'll have to plan time for a second read through of the book to see everything. I'd recommend this book for children already in elementary school as the mixed languages will be hard for younger readers to follow. A bit tough to read aloud with the Spanish built-in, it's still a great introduction to some Spanish vocabulary. Both children and adults will learn new words in this book. Don't forget to check out the other Little Lobo book, too. Vamos, let's go to the market! This book is called Hike by Pete Oswald. Take to the trails for a celebration of nature and a day spent with Dad. In the cool and quiet early light of morning, a father and child wake up. Today, they're going on a hike. Follow the duo into the mountains as they witness the magic of the wilderness, overcome challenges, and play a small role in the survival of the forest. By the time they return home, they feel alive and closer than ever as they document their hike and take their place in family history. In detail-rich panels and textured panoramas, Pete Oswald perfectly paces this nearly wordless adventure allowing readers to pause for subtle wonders and marvel at the views. A touching tribute to the bond between father and child with resonant themes for Earth Day, hike is a breath of fresh air. You don't have to be a hiker to enjoy this beautiful father-child story in this nearly wordless book. Children will love pointing out all the animals and the illustrations and retelling the story again and again with different words. Enjoy this book as you make plans to explore nature yourselves, or enjoy it on a bad weather day as an escape outdoors. 
Either way, you're sure to love the message of taking time to appreciate nature and the wonders it holds. This is An Ordinary Day, written by Elena K. Arnold. An ordinary day in an ordinary neighborhood turns out to be quite extraordinary in this story about the circle of life. It's an average day in the neighborhood. Children play, roses are watered, and a crow watches over it all. But then two visitors arrive at two houses, one to help a family say hello to a new baby, and one to help a family say goodbye to a beloved pet. This is a gentle book that reminds each of us that everyone has a different story to tell. The illustrator did a beautiful job including diverse characters throughout the book. Arnold's pairing of the two houses, one grieving and one rejoicing, makes the book dance and shows us that even though we may be physically close to other people, we do not know all that they live through and often the feelings they have are very different from our own, even on the same day. This book is careful in its words and illustrations and will be a great read for any family. The last book I want to share with you today is The Legend of King Arthur Atops by Mo O'Hara. It's the festival of the stone and dinosaurs from across the land will try to pull the great horn rex caliber from the magical stone. The one who succeeds shall be crowned king or queen. Arthurotops is probably the least likely to accomplish the task. And yet, could he be the one true king? In this completely reimagined Camelot featuring dinosquires and trusty Merlin Adactyl and easy to trip over dinosaur tales, O'Hara transforms this classic tale into an enjoyable, accessible, and truly funny treat for young readers. Coupled perfectly with Andrew Joyner's expressive and classic illustrations, this story will induce fits of giggles and lots of knowing nods from parents who want their little geniuses to have the classics down by first grade. Dinosaur lovers will rejoice at this fun book retelling the tale of King Arthur. The names of characters don't necessarily roll off the tongue, like Lancelot, Asaur, and Guinevere Raptor, but they are fun tributes to the dinosaur illustrations. The ending is a bit silly and may take some explaining to children, but the book is a fun addition to retold legends and will fit great with our summer reading theme of Imagine Your Story. You'll definitely find this on our reading list for this summer. Thanks for exploring some of our new picture books today. We're always getting new ones, so check our catalog often to find fun titles to share with your family. And don't forget to check out the other book talks this week on nonfiction, graphic novels, easy readers, and chapter books. Happy Children's Book Week!